A green belt or green belt is a policy and land use zone designation used in land use planning to retain areas of largely undeveloped, wild, or agricultural land surrounding or neighboring urban areas. Similar concepts are greenways or green wedges which have a linear character and may run through an urban area instead of around it. In essence, a green belt is an invisible line designating a border around a certain area, preventing development of the area and allowing wildlife to return and be established. Topic. Purposes. In those countries which have them, the stated objectives of Green Belt policy are to protect natural or semi-natural environments, improve air quality within urban areas, ensure that urban dwellers have access to countryside, with consequent educational and recreational opportunities, and protect the unique character of rural communities that might otherwise be absorbed by expanding suburbs the green belt has many benefits for people walking camping and biking areas close to the cities and towns contiguous habitat network for wild plants animals and wildlife cleaner air and water Better land use of areas within the bordering cities. The effectiveness of green belts differs depending on location and country. They can often be eroded by urban rural fringe uses and sometimes development jumps over the green belt area, resulting in the creation of satellite towns, which, although separated from the city by green belt, function more like suburbs than independent communities. Topic. History The Old Testament outlines a proposal for a green belt around the Levite towns in the land of Israel. Moses Maimonides expounded that the Greenbelt plan from the Old Testament referred to all towns in ancient Israel. In the 7th century, Muhammad established a green belt around Medina. He did this by prohibiting any further removal of trees in a 12-mile-long strip around the city. In 1580 Elizabeth I of England banned new building in a three-mile-wide belt around the city of London in an attempt to stop the spread of plague. However, this was not widely enforced and it was possible to buy dispensations which reduced the effectiveness of the proclamation. In modern times, the term emerged from continental Europe where broad boulevards were increasingly used to separate new development from the center of historic towns, most notably the Ringstrasse in Vienna. Green Belt policy was then pioneered in the United Kingdom confronted with ongoing rural flight. Various proposals were put forward from 1890 onwards but the first to garner widespread support was put forward by the London Society in its Development Plan of Greater London, 1919. Alongside the CPRE they lobbied for a continuous belt of up to two miles wide, to prevent urban sprawl, beyond which new development could occur. There are 14 green belt areas in the UK covering 16,716 square kilometres or 13% of England, and 164 square kilometres of Scotland. For a detailed discussion of these, see Green Belt UK. Other notable examples are the Ottawa Greenbelt and Golden Horseshoe Greenbelt in Ontario, Canada. Ottawa's 20,350 hectare 78.6 square miles instance is managed by the National Capital Commission NCC. The more general term in the United States is green space or green space, which may be a very small area such as a park. 
the dynamic Adelaide Park lands, measuring approximately 7.6 square kilometers surround, unbroken, the city centre of Adelaide. On the fringe of the eastern suburbs, an expansive natural greenbelt in the Adelaide Hills acts as a growth boundary for Adelaide and cools the city in the hottest months. The concept of green belt has evolved in recent years to encompass not only green space but also green structure which comprises all urban and peri-urban green spaces an important aspect of sustainable development in the 21st century the european commission's cost action c11 Cost, European Cooperation in Science and Technology is undertaking case studies in green structure planning involving 15 European countries. An act of the Swedish Parliament from 1994 has declared a series of parks in Stockholm and the adjacent municipality of Solna to its north a national city park called Royal National City Park. Topic. Criticism Topic. House prices When paired with a city which is economically prospering, homes in a green belt may have been motivated by or result in considerable premiums. They may also be more economically resilient as popular among the retired and less attractive for short-term renting of modest homes. Where in the city itself demand exceeds supply in housing, green belt homes compete directly with much city housing wherever such green belt homes are well connected to the city. Further, they in all cases attract a future guaranteed premium for protection of their views, recreational space and for the preservation, conservation value itself. Most also benefit from higher rates of urban gardening and farming, particularly when done in a community setting, which have positive effects on nutrition, fitness, self-esteem, and happiness, providing a benefit for both physical and mental health, in all cases easily provided or accessed in a green belt. Government planners also seek to protect the green belt as its local farmers are engaged in peri-urban agriculture which augments carbon sequestration, reduces the urban heat island effect, and provides a habitat for organisms. Peri-urban agriculture may also help recycle urban greywater and other products of wastewater, helping to conserve water and reduce waste. The housing market contrasts with more uncertainty and economic liberalism inside and immediately outside of the belt. Green belt homes have by definition nearby protected landscapes. Local residents in affluent parts of a green belt, as in parts of the city, can be assured of preserving any localized bourgeois status quo present and so assuming the green belt is not from the outset an area of more social housing proportionately than the city, it naturally tends toward greater economic wealth. In a protracted housing shortage, reduction of the green belt is one of the possible solutions. All such solutions may be resisted however by private landlords who profit from a scarcity of housing, for example by lobbying to restrain new housing across the city. The stated motivation and benefits of the Green Belt might be well-intentioned public health, social gardening and agriculture, environment, but inadequately realized relative to other solutions. Inherently partial critics include Mark Pennington and the economics-heavy think tanks such as the Institute of Economic Affairs who would see a reduction in many green belts. Such studies focus on widely inherent limitations of green belts. In most examples only a small fraction of the population uses the green belt for leisure purposes. 
The IEA study claims that a green belt is not strongly causally linked to clean air and water. Rather, they view the ultimate result of the decision to green belt a city as one to prevent housing demand within the zone to be met with supply, thus exacerbating high housing prices and stifling competitive forces in general. Topic. Increasing urban sprawl Another area of criticism comes from the fact that, since a greenbelt does not extend indefinitely outside a city, it spurs the growth of areas much further away from the city core than if it had not existed, thereby actually increasing urban sprawl. Examples commonly cited are the Ottawa suburbs of Kanata and Orleans, both of which are outside the city's greenbelt, and are currently undergoing explosive growth see Greenbelt Ottawa. This leads to other problems, as residents of these areas have a longer commute to workplaces in the city and worse access to public transport. It also means people have to commute through the Green Belt, an area not designed to cope with high levels of transportation. Not only is the merit of a Green Belt subverted, but the Green Belt may heighten the problem and make the city unsustainable. There are many examples whereby the actual effect of Green Belts is to act as a land reserve for future freeways and other highways. Examples include sections of the 407 Highway north of Toronto and the Hunt Club Road, Richmond Road south of Ottawa. Whether they are originally planned as such, or the result of a newer administration taking advantage of land that was left available by its predecessors is debatable. Topic. United Kingdom. In the UK, Greenbelt around the major conurbations has been criticised as one of the main protectionist bars to building housing, the others being other planning restrictions local plans and restrictive covenants and developers' land banking. Local plans and land banking are to be relaxed for home building in the 2015-2030 period by law and the Green Belt will be reduced by some local authorities as each local authority must now consider it among the available shortlisted options in drawing development plans to meet higher housing targets. Critics argue that the Greenbelts defeat their stated objective of saving the countryside and open spaces. Such criticism falls short when considering the other, broader benefits such as peri-urban agriculture which includes gardening and carries many benefits, especially to the retired. It also ignores the strategic aims of the Attlee Ministry in 1946, just as in France, of shifting capital away from the capital addressing regional disparity and avoiding intra-urban gridlock. The restrictions of the Green Belt were particularly in the 1940s to 1980s mitigated with planned, government-supported, New Towns under the New Towns Act 1946 and New Towns Act 1981. These saw establishment beyond the Green Belts of new homes, infrastructure, businesses and other facilities. Without large-scale sustainable development, infill development sees urban green space lost. A chronic housing shortage with inadequate new settlements and or extension of those outside of the green belt and or no green belt reduction has seen many brownfield sites, often well suited to industry and commerce, lost in existing conurbations. Topic. Notable examples Topic. Australia 
Adelaide's central business district is completely encircled by the Adelaide Parklands, as was initially planned in 1837. The Nilambic Shire Council which is located approximately 30 kilometres northeast of Melbourne is considered as the Green Wedge Shire because of the agreement with the Victorian government which prevents high-density infrastructure to be built. <inaudible> Brazil The São Paulo City Green Belt Biosphere Reserve, GBBR, an integral part of the Atlantic Forest Biosphere Reserve, was created in 1994 stemming from a people's movement that collected 150,000 signatures. It extends throughout 73 municipalities including São Paulo Metro and the Santos area. With approximately 17,000 square kilometers, it is inhabited by about 23 million people, corresponding to more than 10% of the country's total population in an area equivalent to 2,000th of the Brazilian territory. There are over 6,000 square kilometers of forests and other Atlantic forest ecosystems at the reserve, one of the planet's most threatened biomes. In addition to a spectacular biological diversity, the GBBR's ecosystems render valuable ecosystem services. Canada Ottawa Greenbelt, surrounds the capital city of Ottawa. Greenbelt Golden Horseshoe, is a 7,300 square kilometres band of land that encompasses the rural and agricultural land surrounding the Greater Toronto Area and Niagara Peninsula, and parts of the Bruce Peninsula. It is larger than Canada's smallest province of Prince Edward Island. Most of the land consists of the Oak Ridges Moraine, an environmentally sensitive land that is a major aquifer for the region, and the Niagara Escarpment, a UNESCO biosphere reserve. In an effort to restrain urban sprawl that has encroached on these lands, the Ontario government created the Greenbelt Act in February 2005 to protect this green space from all future development, with the exception of limited agricultural use. British Columbia, the Agricultural Land Reserve protects agricultural land throughout this mountainous province from urban development, including around Vancouver. This protection is strict and urban development of agricultural land is only allowed if no reasonable alternative exists. However, it does not protect non-agricultural land, particularly hillsides, leading to substantial, and highly visible, leapfrog-type hillside sprawl. Quebec, the Commission de Protection du Territoire Agricole du Quebec asserts its mission, namely to keep a territory the agricultural zones that is favourable for the practice and the development of agricultural activities. In so doing, the Commission safeguards the agricultural territory and helps make its protection a local priority. The agricultural zones cover an area of 63,000 square kilometers in 952 local municipalities. Topic: <inaudible> Dominican Republic. The Greater Santo Domingo has a greenbelt, Santo Domingo greenbelt project surrounding the whole Distrito Nacional. It is composed of the National Botanical Garden, Mirador del Norte, Mirador del Este, and other parks surrounding the area from its outer municipios. It has largely been affected by uncontrolled urbanization, but other parts remain unaffected. Topic. Iran. 
Green Belt in Tehran has always been a consequential matter due to the rapid increase of the city size, population, cars, factories, pollution and other expansions which hardened breathing. By a big project, the Green Belt of Tehran increased from 29 square kilometers in 1979 to 530 square kilometers in 2017 and the number of parks also increased from 75 in 1979 to 2211 in 2017 in total urban and suburb areas. Such actions and afforestation increased the humidity level and precipitation chance in the city which cools the summer's temperatures down by up to 4 degrees Celsius. Tehran municipality announced to increase the green belt by 10 square kilometers each year. Topic: <laughs> Mainland Europe European Green Belt Banjica Forest, Belgrade Royal National City Park, Stockholm German Green Belt Inner and Outer Green Belt of Cologne de Coulet Vert du Sud Parisien Coulet Vert du Nord Parisien Promenade Plante Vienna Woods, Austria Ren Green Belt, France Parco Agricolo Sud Milano, Milan Topic. New Zealand Dunedin's town belt is one of the world's oldest green belts, having been planned at the time of the city's rapid growth during the Otago Gold Rush of the 1860s. It surrounds the city centre on three sides the fourth side being the city's harbour. Wellington Town Belt <inaudible> Pakistan Islamabad, often called the ''Green City'' is known for its green belts found on most roadsides which are often decorated and filled with various flora. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Philippines. Makati City's green belt is very green yet full of malls and modern structures. Thailand Bangkok's Bang Krachau Green Area located inside the curve of Chao Phraya River is considered a green area with authority control over the urbanization. Today it is a popular spot for tourism and cycling. The area is located within the border of Bangkok Province and Samut Sakorn Province. South Korea It was first introduced as limited development area in 1971 with city planning law to prevent urban sprawl around Seoul. Currently green belts are designated around Seoul, Busan and other metropolitan areas around the country. Topic. United Kingdom The Metropolitan Green Belt 5100 square kilometers The Northwest Green Belt 2600 square kilometers South and West Yorkshire Green Belt 2600 square kilometers West Midlands Green Belt 2300 square kilometers Topic. United States The U.S. states of Oregon, Washington and Tennessee require cities to establish urban growth boundaries UGBs. 
Notable U.S. cities which have adopted UGBs include Portland, Oregon, Twin Cities, Minnesota, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Lexington, Kentucky U.S.'s first in 1958, and Miami-Dade County, Florida. The Public Works Administration of the New Deal created three Greenbelt communities based on the ideas of Ebenezer Howard which are now the municipalities of Greenbelt, Maryland, Greenhills, Ohio, and Greendale, Wisconsin. More than 20 cities in the San Francisco Bay Area have UGBs see Greenbelt Alliance, a Bay Area organization that has been involved in establishing these boundaries. Staten Island Greenbelt and Brooklyn Queens Greenway in New York City Barton Creek Greenbelt, Austin Ann Arbor, Michigan is acquiring conservation easements on agricultural land around the city without the establishment of an urban growth boundary. While the city's initial plan did not include the participation of surrounding townships, at least four townships have participated directly or have initiated their own efforts to protect agricultural land surrounding the city. Boise Greenbelt, Boise, Idaho The Jungle, Seattle The Emerald Necklace in Boston is halfway between a green belt and a greenway, nearly ringing central Boston. The final link in the chain, the Dorchester Way, was never constructed. Topic. See also. Buffer zone, community separator Conservation movement Development supported agriculture Ecology Greenway, landscape Land use planning Peri-urban agriculture Prime farmland Retirement community Sustainability Urban growth boundary Urban Rural Fringe Urban Sprawl